So do you have any hobbies or anything that you really like to do, anything that you really enjoy doing? Well, what if I told you that you could potentially find a product to sell on Amazon in a hobby that you already do? And that would actually make it a lot easier to create a listing, to be more passionate, to be an actual customer, and actually someone who uses the product to know if it's a good quality or not. So with all that being said, in this video, I'm going to show you guys a very, very easy way to start doing Amazon product research. Let's say you haven't started before and you're looking to start. This is a very easy way to get started. And if you already do product research and that's completely fine this is just simply another technique that you should be using in your arsenal to find more and more profitable products also feel free to smash the like button and subscribe down below and with all that being said let's get into it all right guys so we're on the laptop and we're actually on amazon.com right now but the specific technique that's going to allow us to find potential hobbies that are going to have products underneath those hobbies is going to be used with Wikipedia. So if we come over to this tab right here, we have the Wikipedia list of hobbies. And to access this, you simply go to Google, type in hobbies, and then you're going to have Wikipedia as the very first link and click on the list of hobbies. Now with this list, this list is going to be an entire broad spectrum list of all the different hobbies that Wikipedia has um, in their database. And so with this, what we can do is basically just look at all these hobbies and then basically under a specific hobby, we can search that specific hobby into Amazon and see if there are potential products that are selling for money. And so with that being said, let's get right into it. So um, right off the bat, um, something that we should look at, maybe um, fish farming, uh, let's do, let's do, let's, let's do gardening. So we have gardening. So if we just type in gardening into Amazon and let Amazon do the rest of the work, we can see a ton of different options. So we have tools, we have accessories. And so a lot of times if you just type in the specific item like gardening plus tools or gardening plus accessories, you will have a bunch of items. So let me show you guys really quick what I mean. So gardening tools, you're gonna have a bunch of different random tool sets that are selling well on Amazon. Um, but specifically for this example, this is not what I'm trying to show. I wanna showcase a different technique where we actually let Amazon do the rest of the work. So if we type in gardening, so we can see right off the bat that the very first and the most search thing under gardening with a space is going to be gardening tools. But if we look further down, we have gardening gifts for women, gardening gloves, gardening supplies, kids gardening set, indoor gardening system. And so the further and further you get on the list, the less and less volume people are actually searching for these items on Amazon. Now, I don't want to click on the very first one because I know it's going to be super competitive. I want to look at like, you know, gardening gifts for women or gardening gloves or even kids gardening set. That sounds a little bit different than everything else. Um, it's going to be a whole different niche. So if we just click on kids gardening set, now for the keyword kids gardening set, we have a total of 1,000 results, meaning that there are 1,000 individuals on Amazon selling a kids gardening set and ranking for that keyword. So once again, it's gonna be a thousand different products that are being sold. And so we can see a number of different products. If we look at these first four results, these are gonna be sponsored, meaning people are paying to be in this spot. So we can simply scroll past them. And now the next results we have are the actual organic results. And so we can see from a couple hundred reviews to 60 reviews, we have people who have lower reviews, but once again, there's, it's not super low, but once again, thankfully, everyone is not having, you know, 1,000, 10,000, 50,000 reviews. You know, it's definitely not super competitive. Now, highly rated, we have this next section, which is going to be, once again, sponsored people. So people who are paying to be in this spot. Now, if we scroll down further to the more results, we have the second set of four results. So number five, six, seven, and eight. And so once again, we have couple hundred reviews, we have actually over a thousand reviews, and then we have 40 reviews. And so once again, for each of these kits, they're going to be slightly different. So this is a very broad um, word. It's not very specific. It's a kid's gardening set, meaning that people can sell whatever they want to sell as a kid's gardening set and it actually rank for that keyword. Now, what we want to do is actually see if this is making money. So if we go to our x-ray um, helium tan chrome extension, we can see exactly what is happening in this specific keyword. Now, if you want to access helium tan, I have a link in the, in the comment section in the description down below. But really quickly, x ray once again allows us to see the total revenue, average revenue, average price, BSR, and the search volume for kids' gardening set. 
Now for kids gardening set, we have 35,000 searches every single month for a kids gardening set. Meaning that there's a lot of people searching for this kids gardening set. And we can see right here, these first four SP, that means sponsored. So we're just going to hide these guys. We're gonna put them in this trash can, delete them. And now we can look at the actual organic results. Before we do that, what Helium 10 also shows us is the product details, the ASIN, brand, revenue, BSR, seller fees, and the review count. Now, what we're gonna be looking at is the review count right here and the number and the amount of revenue they're making every single month. So for the first organic results, we have the guy who's making, who had 500 reviews, he's making 20,000 a month, 800 reviews, 30,000 a month, 200 reviews, 21,000 a month, 62 reviews. So a newer guy making 6,000 a month in revenue. Another newer guy, 39 reviews, making another 6,000 a month in revenue. Now, once again, this is not a super um, non-competitive keyword because we can see out of the top 10 um, actual first organic people, we have only one, only two people with under 100 reviews. Everybody else has over 100 reviews, meaning that it's going to be very hard to compete in this category unless you have an insane innovation, insane, you know, PPC branded, all that stuff. But even then, it still is not a for certain things. So we want to be entering in categories that are actually easier to penetrate and don't have a ton of competition. Now, another thing that I want to show you guys really quickly is the related keywords, because this can give us a good indication for other keywords in this category that could potentially make us money. So if we click on this, they have eight related keywords um, that are, we hover above it, it says eight related keywords. If it's going to show begin, oh, this one show, it doesn't matter. Regardless, so they have eight related keywords or more that have high demand. And so this is very, very important. So if we look at these keywords, we have kids gardening set, two through four, eight through 12, boys, girls, kids gardening set metal, kids gardening set pink, kids gardening set with seeds, and kids gardening set with wheelbarrow. So if we look at each of these, out of all these, I would say that the kids gardening set with seeds and the kids gardening set with wheelbarrow look the most um, different. So I'm just gonna click on the kids gardening set with wheelbarrow and basically Amazon will open up in a new tab. And so from this entire kids gardening set that had over, um, if you scroll back up, it had over a thousand different sellers. If you go to the kids gardening set with wheelbarrow, now we only have 194 sellers. So from the list of hobbies, we had gardening and then using the putting gardening into the tool, we have kids gardening set and from kids gardening set x-ray, we have kids gardening set with wheelbarrow. So this is a lot more niche down from the list of hobbies gardening. Um, so we can see from this, this is very, very specific. It's hyper relevant to kids gardening sets, but they need to have a wheelbarrow in that set. So if we scroll down, we're gonna see all of these sets have wheelbarrows. Like you see this little cute look here right here, you have the wheelbarrow and these are sponsors. So if we scroll down to the first organic, we have all these kids gardening sets with wheelbarrows. And so we can see right off the bat, the very first organic has three reviews, three stars. It's it's not that good. Seven reviews, four stars. And so these are the first two organic results. So that's already given us a good indication that it is um a lot more, um a lot less competitive and a lot easier for us to put a um, specific kids gardening set with wheelbarrow in here as better than everyone else's and actually make money. Now we do have 1500 reviews and so this is probably the top guy and we do have 200 reviews. But once again, um, if we scroll back down past the highly rated sponsor, we're gonna ignore these once again. And we scroll to the next set of four. We have 150 as a top guy, four reviews, 88, 88. And so we can see that already this is going to be a lot less competitive. And so if we throw it an x-ray and once again, look at the actual revenue because it could be less competitive, but if no one's making money, it doesn't matter. So if we scroll down past the first four sponsored, or we could delete them regardless, it uh, doesn't matter, but you, you can just scroll down. And so if we look at the actual revenue to sales, so we have the three and the seven uh, review people, they were not, they're not making very much money. So right off the bat, we can see that even though they're first and second organically ranked, they're not making very much money. Um, and so also something that could be um, the case is that even though his BSR is 21,000 and it's lower than the 38,000, meaning he's getting more sales, it still says NA. And a lot of times the data will not show up. So he could be making you know a couple of thousand, but it's just not showing at the moment. And if we look at someone who's similar to him, 28,000 versus 21,000, he's doing better than the, than the 28,000, meaning that he's making at least 11,000 or more. So once again, 
you want to use your intuition to be a SAR. It's also a good indication if the if the revenue is is not available. Just look at someone who has a similar BSR, such as this guy right here. Once again, he has twenty eight thousand, meaning that this guy's ahead of him. He's making at least eleven thousand or more. Now, if we look at other people who are new, eighty eight reviews, thirty eight thousand, four reviews, four thousand or thirty five hundred. 88 reviews, 46,000, six reviews, 8,000. So we can already see that using the list of hobbies, we can find a specific keyword, um, find a, uh, put it into Amazon search, and look at other different keywords. We're gonna go through each of these individually and we're gonna spend a lot of time into this and, and really and really uncovering niches that are not gonna have a ton of competition. Now, if we would have just simply stayed at the kids gardening set, um, versus the kids gardening set with wheelbarrow and niche down, we can see that there's a lot less competition. There's only 200 products in this specific category, and a lot of them are making money who are relatively new, so that is very, very important. Now, let's do another example. If we go back to list of hobbies and we type in, let's just go with, um, I'm sure, I'm just curious what this gung fu tea is. I'll just type that in because I'm not, I've never heard of that. And once again, you may find products with this or you may not, but essentially the more and more time you spend doing this technique, the more and more products you will uncover. And I can guarantee that. So Gung Fu Tea Set. So actually, let me just go back and just type in Gung Fu Tea. Gung Fu Tea and just see what pops up. So we have Gung Fu Tea Set, Gung Fu Tea Set Glass, Gung Fu Tea Tray, Gung Fu tea set with tray so that's super um super long tail meaning it has more and more individual keywords meaning you make it a long tail keyword it has five words in there um gung fu table set gung so i'll just click on the gung fu set with tray because it is the most long tailed meaning it's going to be the least compet it's going to be least competitive because it's not super broad so if we click on the gung fu uh tea set with tray can't even say it it has um 344 results. And let me, just, just to prove this to you guys, it's less competitive. If we just type in Gung Fu Tea Set, right? So from 344 results, we have 446. So it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not a ton less competitive, but it definitely still is less competitive. And so we will look at this. And so once again, I'm not even sure what this is. Um, there's actually not a ton of competitors. On the first or four organic, we have. We literally have less than 100 reviews, less than 20 reviews. This guy has 17. And so off the bat, I'm a little skeptical. So we're just going to throw it right into x-ray to see if it's actually making money. Um, if it's not, then we will just move right on to another example. Um, but once again, we want to be checking um, with x-ray to see if it's making money because it's not making money. It doesn't matter how many products you find, you need to make money. And so we can see right off the bat that there is no sales for this. So we'd be wasting our time to continue on with it until we will go straight on to the next product. So once again, you will find products and sometimes you won't find products, but you just need to be guessing and checking later on to see if you find more and more products. Now, let's look in this, let's look in this, this next column. Let's look at, um, let's go with skipping rope. So we'll just go with jump rope just to make that easier because I don't think someone's going to be searching and skipping rope. So if we just go to Amazon and type in jump rope, Jump. Let's, let's, just, let's just type in jump rope, and let's just basically. Um, there, there's, there's, there's no right way. There's no wrong way to do this. If we were to just simply type in jump rope, and we see that it's super competitive, right? Now, what we could also do is just go to X-ray and use X-rays um, related keywords that we just used to find the kids gardening set with wheelbarrow. So once this loads, we're going to use the X-ray related keywords, which will basically give us a list of other keywords that are related, and that actually remember allowed us to find you know kids jump kids um gardening set with wheelbarrow and so once again we we know that this is going to be super competitive jump rope it is stupid broad it's ridiculously broad it's a hundred thousand hundred seventy thousand searches every single month every single month for a jump rope meaning that it's going to be extremely hard to come in with a jump rope and be profitable because all the people in here they're all making money but once again they all have thousands of reviews the lowest person on the first 10 has 700 reviews. So as a new player, you trying to come in with a jump rope, it's just not going to be possible. But if we click on the related keywords, we can see other keywords that are related that are going to be longer tailed, meaning they're going to be less competitive, and ultimately will allow you to basically come in with an easier time with less competition and ultimately be very, very specific to a product, which will ultimately, once again, I keep saying it, be less competitive. And that's exactly what we want. 
So once it loads, we have all of these. Now out of these, jump rope, jump rope counter for kids, man, woman, mat, no rope, set. The ones that stand out to me are going to be the set, the mat, and the counter. So we're gonna open each of these up individually. Mat and counter and set. Now I know the set is probably going to be super broad and it might just be the set plus the bag as we see right here. We have, yeah, and so it still is very competitive because once again, it's it still can be very broad and there could be a lot of people selling different types of sets. So we're just going to X out of the set and the next one we're gonna look at is, once again, the jump rope counter. Okay, so this is what it is. It's basically where it counts for you and I'm not super interested in selling electronics, so we're just going to X out of that. And the last one we have is jump rope mat. Now, right off the bat, we can see that they're, okay, the sponsored, we're gonna ignore those actually, and we're gonna look at the first organic. Now, the first the first organic actually is 19 reviews, 22 reviews, 20 reviews, 440. Now, this may be a new product, okay, it's not super new because there are, the sponsored, there's a couple hundred reviews for these, but once again, we're gonna look at the first organic results. And once again, we have 112, 16, 77, 10. So this could potentially be a newer product um, or just be, just, or there just could be a lot of people launching under this keyword who are new people who are only top ranking products because um, it may just be getting a lot of searches right now. But if we just um, scroll back up, we can see that there's 756 products for a jump rope map. And if we look at the extra extension, because off the bat in Amazon, it looked like very low competition. And so we want to just verify that that's the case if they're actually making money because so did the Gung Fu uh, tea set. But once again, they're making no money. But right here, we can see that the revenue for this is actually pretty decent. You know, 22 reviews is 5,000, 20 reviews, 11,000. So these are a lot of new players who are making decent money, even 16 reviews, 3,000, you know? It's not anything crazy, but you know, from 3,000, 5,000, 11, 10, 16, you know, these are decent amounts of profit. If you take a third of, you know, 16,000, you're making 5,000 a month. If you take a third of 3,000, you're making 1,000 a month. It's just extra profit for just selling a simple mat. And so it's very, very possible to find products as I've showed using the, the list of hobbies in Wikipedia. Now, all of these, all of these different um, specific hobbies are not going to be searchable on Amazon, like, acting you know what can you really i mean you, you, and you would be surprised you probably can sell something but once again some are going to be more intuitive than others and they're going to make a lot more sense but off of this now we have a jump rope mat that could potentially could be sold now even though we see that there's money and there's a lot of new players who are just selling a simple mat now what you would need to do is figure out exactly how you can offer the most amount of value now you want to be more unique you want to be more innovative because if you're just selling a simple mat then eventually there's going to be a lot of people coming in with mats and so um there's gonna be no uniqueness about your product. So you can sell a mat with like um, a, a specific color that's really nice, like maybe like, I don't know. Well, you, you definitely have to use your creative mind, but you wanna be making your product more unique. You could be selling like a mat that is um, longer than anybody else's that has maybe um, some type of like special foam that makes um, landing very easy or different design or you know different style, something that's different. You can even sell a mat with a jump rope like you see right here, she's selling a mat plus a jump rope plus some other stuff. But you have to think outside the box. And once again, this list of hobbies from Wikipedia really gets you in the door of doing product research, along with Helium 10 to actually verify and validate whether or not the specific keyword that you're trying to sell under is actually making money. And now let's say we wanted to do jump rope mat and we say we want to do kids gardening uh, set with wheelbarrow. Now these are just two items that you want to create an entire list of items on. Now, if we just come to go to our notes, Excel or um, Google Sheets, wherever it is, you wanna be compiling all these specific data. You wanna be compiling the specific keyword, the search volume, the number of reviews, if there's room to compete, you know, you wanna be compiling all this stuff and really just doing prior research over the course, over the course of a couple of days, over the course of a week and compiling an entire list of, you know, 20 to 30 products and really just selecting from that list the best product that's going to be the least competitive in terms of reviews have the least amount of players and be having the most amount of money that you're making. That's very important. And so once again, this is just another way to find products and really just validate it using Helium 10. But once again, you wanna be using all the different product research methods that I'm talking about on this channel and really finding profitable products. So with all that being said, if you're still here, smash the like button, subscribe down below, feel free to do that. And I will see you guys in the next video.